So this is Minecraft Live 2022, Minecraft Dungeons Season 3 Reveal and Live Demo. I haven't played a whole lot of Minecraft Dungeons, but for those who are interested, well, here it is. Now, let's talk about Minecraft Dungeons. Yes. And for that, I will, of course, invite Laura to... <laughs> That's quite okay. the entrance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a little bit. Anyway, when you're not being rolled around on thrones, can you mm -hmm. tell everyone, what do you do at Mojang Studios? I get rolled around, yes. and I am also the lead designer for Minecraft Dungeons, which means that I get to okay. contribute a lot to the creative work in the game, which is amazing. It's been a crazy ride since launch, and we've released so many things, so I thought we could begin by watching a bit of a recap of the game. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I didn't play much of this game. It looks good, though. A lot of DLCs was released as well, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I should play it again. A lot of cool areas, I think. Yep. Really good music as well. What is that? I'm good. <laughs> I want to play Minecraft Dungeons now. Poe coming on the channel later today. <laughs> wow, so much great stuff has already happened. It's been yes. so much and we it's been so great, but I think now that we've looked at the past a little bit, we are ready to talk a bit about the future. Maybe? I think everyone wants to hear that. Yes. Let's do it. And uh, the amazing thing is that now we're ready to announce that we're releasing Seasonal Adventure 3, which is called the Fauna Fair. Okay. And uh, it is all about pets and new animals to come to the universe of Minecraft. And here you can... Are those artists? Up here. I love those. I love those things. <laughs> All right. You can see we, we started with some concept Aww. art and we have some otters, some ferrets, some penguins, and my personal favorite, which is the hedgehog. <laughs> of course. Why? Yes, and it's tiny and it rolls around and it follows you through the level. So, yeah, it is my favorite, but the final art of the mobs turned out so wow. good. I think Ooh. the penguins fit very well in camp, and we also have chickens and the clock room from my. You call that a chicken? <laughs> okay, this is understandable. That's not a chicken. <laughs> Minecraft Earth, and yeah, tons of cows even. And the woolly cow. Yes, our emo cow. <laughs> uh, we are very happy about it, and it's so cozy. But the whole season will revolve about pets. So mm -hmm. all the rewards you'll be able to get through the season are around pets. So you'll get like cow and turtle caves Oops. and all the emotes are going to be about mm. animals so you will be able to pet your pets or you know be a bit of a chicken <laughs> yeah. or a bit okay. of a dog why not <laughs> that's perfect and also very flashy flares like the the cat one and yeah all sorts of cool. cool animations that you'll be able to get. That's all really exciting, but you also <laughs> get to talk about a new mission. That's right, that's right. Okay. Treetop Tangle is our mission set in the jungle biome. Uh, I don't want to fall. That's, um, no. <laughs> uh, and we're very happy because we're releasing this one for free, which means that all the okay. players that never got to play in the jungle DLC before will get to explore the jungle. That's so cool. And it's this massive tree and you run around in the branches and inside of the tree itself so i think it is a very different experience because yeah. it's such a vertical level yeah i love that you always Sick. feel you can feel that you're way up high yes and uh i think we should also talk about my favorite thing your though. favorite uh it's a bit of my baby but 
in dungeons, yeah. you've never gotten the ability to replace your enchantments. Mm -hmm. You know how you get a piece of gear and they come with their enchantments. And uh, right. we're finally releasing the Enchant Smith, oh. which is a new merchant that will move into your camp. So cool. Yes. And it will allow you to re-roll your enchantments, if you will. Okay. That's I think everyone's going to be excited thing. about that because I know I have been waiting for something like that. It's great to be able to change these enchantments. Yes. But we have a creator question just right. about that. Let's watch it. Hi there, my name is Steph Sanyadi. I'm head narrative designer at Padia Gaming, and I'm also a gaming content creator. My partner okay. and I love playing Minecraft Dungeons together, but we've always wanted a way to change up our enchantments. I heard in the new update there might be a way to do that with the enchantment. Can you tell us more about that and how it's going to work? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can give a few more details. Let's see. Mm. Okay. So you'll be able to save the enchant smith in high block halls. And after that, they'll move into your camp. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'll be able to go up to their booth and select a piece of gear you want to re-enchant. Select an enchantment you already had, pay a bit of gold, and the enchant smith will re-roll it. Just for a little bit of gold. I mean, you have to pay them for their work. Yes, yes, yes. It is their job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I think okay. I saved the best thing for last. Okay. So, you know, last year we talked about the tower, which yes. was a new feature, and it is that space where you go floor by floor, mm -hmm. defeating waves of mobs, and you get that stronger cool. as you go, and at the end you get an amazing reward. Well, we are ready to announce that we are releasing a multiplayer mode. That's awesome. Ooh. Yes, and okay. today we have here with us Kelsey and JP from the Dungeons team. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Isn't that my throne? It is my throne now. Okay, let's just get into the game. <laughs> yes, and here they are playing together. And together with the tower multiplayer, we're also releasing new biomes in the tower. So this is set in the Ooh. end. And uh, this is a demo I balanced myself. Uh -huh. And I made this level a bit easier for okay. them. Okay. So, so I think they should have a good time in this floor. They, yeah. they did quick work there. Yes, and as you can see, uh, Kelsey and JP are playing in... Uh, couch co-op, mm -hmm. but you'll also be able to play this in online multiplayer, and uh, you'll be able cool. to play with up to four friends. Uh, okay. So yeah, same as, as in the rest of the game, like mm -hmm. whenever somebody joins or somebody leaves, the game will adapt to how many you are and, okay. and balance its difficulty. That's uh, cool. So we're very happy of how smooth that turned out. Uh, yeah, and I see these two uh, doing really well here. Yes, it is, it, you know, I, I wanted to give them a bit of a head start and a bit of a leeway. <laughs> <laughs> I love how beautiful this That's fair. Is. Oh, yes. they cleared it. We nice. want to try to keep the whimsical, like, vibe of the tower. Mm -hmm. So we thought the end biomes were very good for that. And, oh, here you can see, like, when you choose a uh, new piece of gear in the tower, you'll be able to see what your friends are choosing also. Okay. Which means that That's you can cool. strategize with each other. So, oh, you choose the hammer, I'll choose the crossbow. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, you get that melee strength and I get yes. the range strength. Mm -hmm. So you then know. you work well together. Yes. I That's awesome. I made this level harder. Okay. So to give them a <laughs> bit of a challenge. And uh, we'll see how that goes, I think. Oh, I think it it's be already fair. looking a little bit tough. Yeah, but here you can see like how you collaborate with each other. Like you put the totem of healing, yeah, and then you can all heal. It exactly, and then you you both get it, and uh, you can protect yourself. So I think I really really like the strategy that it brings to the table. Uh, to I be love able it. to play multiplayer is such a different experience, mm -hmm. and uh -oh. I might have done this one a bit too yeah, hard. Yeah, maybe you oh, were a little oh dear. on that, but they <laughs> did a great job. I mean, I need to show the challenge in the time. <laughs> you <laughs> definitely yeah. show yeah. the challenge. So yeah. everyone will want to know, when do we get this? Very, very soon. Uh, oh. Seasonal Adventure 3 is coming on the 19th of October. Oh, wow. That's so a two days. Soon you'll get the Enchant Smith, Treetop Tangle, Tower Multiplayer, all of it. That is awesome. Cool. Yes, but there's also one other thing that is coming on October, the 26th of October, to be precise, and that's the Spooky Fest, yeah. which is now a tradition in the Dungeons world. And um, mm. this year you're getting more rewards than ever before. You're getting six pieces of gear, uh, and I'm super happy how they turned out. They look so pretty. And uh, you'll also be able to get those pieces of gear in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which means that you'll be able to get spooky all around. That is Sweet. great. Wow, you've shared so much. Thank you so much, Lala. I mean, it's... Oh. Oh. 
Okay then. That's looking awesome. I want to play Minecraft Dungeons now. Hmm.